Today we're going to be looking at how to find out the name of an application or a package on your Android device. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So how can we find out the name of an application or package that we have on our Android device? Uh, there's a number of ways you can do this. If you have the actual APK, you can pull that apart and look at it, or you can always look up online, but sometimes you don't know what to look up. So for example, we have a camera application on my phone here. So this is my phone on my right, my desktop on my left, connected through USB, ADB. How do we know the name of this particular Android camera application? Uh, well, something you can do is you can use the ADB shell and the package manager to list packages. If we do that, we'll list all the packages on there. And of course, you can use something like grep to look for maybe camera. Now, here doing this, it does list two applications that have the name camera that are on this device. But I can tell you right now, neither of them are this camera application. So how do I know what specifically is this camera application? Well, when it comes to your Linux shell, I'm sorry, Android shell, which is a Linux shell, we can do ADB shell and we can do logcat. Now, logcat's just gonna be listing a whole bunch of things that your phone is doing, and it's just gonna be spewing out a bunch of information as your phone is doing stuff in the background or foreground. Uh, so that's a lot of information, but what we can do is we can now put that into grep CMP. And now this is gonna look for lines that have the word CMP in them, and when an application does something, usually in the log, it will say the name of that application and the activity it's doing, uh, with CMP equals before that. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna do this, it's gonna list out some stuff because it does bring up the previous stuff it did. I'm gonna hit enter a couple times so we can tell where we currently are. Now if I clip on, click on any program, we should see the name of that application and the activity that's running. So for example, I can click on the camera here and you can see the name of this application is org.lineageos.aperture. So now we have the name of this application. And that can be very useful if you're trying to launch that with a shell script or from ADB or kill it or disable it or uninstall it. Having the package name is important. And now we know that this particular application is org.lineageos.aperture on this particular device. So, and then I click home and you can see that on my home screen is using Lawn Chair, and this is the name of the package for Lawn Chair. If I was to click on my Messages application, you can see that it's using com.android.messaging. I can also click on the web browser here, and you can see that it's org.lineageos.jelly. So just knowing that this is my web browser, even if it's Brave, it's not just going to be the application isn't called Brave, it's going to be whatever the package name is. And it's not just the name of the APK, it's what the actual APK is installed at. So again, I can click on the phone uh, application here and you can see com.android.dialer is the default dialer on um, Lineage OS. Uh, a lot of devices, if you have uh, the default stock firmware, lots of times a lot of these default applications are going to be variations. So in case, in this case, we have com.android.dialer. Uh, lots of times if it's an Android or I'm sorry, a Google based version of Android, they will take that code, slightly modify it and re-release it and it will be something like com.android.google.dialer or com.google.android.dialer. They'll have the name Google in there because it's a slight variation with their little proprietary code in there. So it's not always going to be the same. So being able to do this is very useful. So again, the we're using the logcat command. So ADB shell logcat, which gives you a whole bunch of information on what your phone is doing right here in the shell. And then we're grepping for CMP. And that way we can easily find what application is running when we click on it. And once we have that, again, we can disable that application, kill that application, start that application, pull up other information on that application. So we're going to use this in the future uh, video. So I just wanted to get this out of the way. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description to my website where you can find more information, loads of videos that you you can search through games I've made and places to support me like Libre, Pay, Pay, uh, PayPal, and Patreon. I, again, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.